When nutrition is hard to come by, giraffes add something even stranger to the menu, bones. They'll pick up old, weathered bones in their mouths and chew on them, not for the flavor, but to extract extra calcium and phosphorus. It looks unsettling, this elegant leaf eater gnawing on skeleton pieces out in the open. But in mineral-poor landscapes, those bones are basically a supplement aisle. All of that chewing, stripping, and second-round snacking is only the beginning of the giraffe's engineering problem. Because once the food is in, the real challenge is moving blood, not leaves. Imagine your heart being told it has to deliver blood up a five to six meter tower every single beat, and then deal with that same column of blood sliding back down whenever you look at your feet. That's the giraffe's daily life. In order to get a normal blood pressure at the brain, similar to other large mammals, the giraffe's heart has to generate a much higher pressure at chest level, roughly about double what we'd expect in a person. If a human walked around with giraffe level blood pressure at the heart, they'd be in serious trouble. Giraffes are not in serious trouble because their whole cardiovascular system has been rewritten for this extreme situation. Their hearts are thick-walled and powerful, designed to pump hard and often. Their arteries are unusually tough and muscular, so they don't balloon under that pressure. And the veins coming down the neck are equipped with valves that act like tiny traffic lights, stopping blood from rushing up or down too quickly when the giraffe raises or lowers its head. You see this most clearly when a giraffe goes for a drink, to reach the water, it has to spread its front legs out wide and drop its neck in a move that looks like a yoga pose invented by someone who didn't like their spine. In that position, its head is suddenly much lower than its heart. Valves and vessel walls work together to keep the blood flow controlled so the brain doesn't get slammed with pressure when it's down or starved when the giraffe slings its head back up. Even the legs are involved. Giraffes have strong, tight connective tissues around the lower legs. Think of them as built-in compression socks that help prevent fluid from pooling in their extremities under such high pressures.